Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna head off to Ikea and I'm gonna take you all through the store with me and show you some of those pieces that will really help to give your space that high-end designer look and feel. But of course, we can snag them for those amazing Ikea prices. So then we'll come back home and I'll show you everything that I found for my own space and how I styled it throughout my home. So should be a really fun video full of lots of inspiration. And yeah, without further ado, let's go to Ikea. Okay, so here we are at Ikea and one of the first showrooms that really stood out to me was this kitchen. I love the contrast of the light cabinets and dark countertops and how they played off of that black and white contrast in the floor as well. I also love this more traditional faucet. I'm seeing lots of designers use these now and they typically cost hundreds of dollars and this one is only 118. Another thing I'm starting to see lots of designers use right now are pleated lampshades and love it or hate it, these are definitely making a comeback and we're starting to see them being incorporated into kitchens as well. These were a steal at under $40 each and they just help to add a little bit of texture and visual interest to contrast against all of the sleek kitchen surfaces. Another thing we are seeing lots of designers do right now is incorporate checkered patterns into their spaces like these floors. And while these are really big right now, they're also a very timeless look. But if you're looking for something without a renovation, I also love this painted checkered diamond wall that they did in this room. This would be super simple to do with some painter's tape and a couple of gallons of paint. It would be really pretty to use as an accent wall in a living room or maybe in an office just to help add some dimension and pattern. Another piece I'm loving is this black glass cabinet and lots of high-end stores sell similar pieces for over a thousand dollars and you can get a super similar look for only 300 bucks. This would look great in a living room or a dining room. Ikea is also such a great spot for affordable outdoor furniture and decor and something that I saw that I thought was really unique was this terrarium. It was only $23 and has a very similar look to the ones that they sell at Terrain for $178. They have them in both a black and white color option. I also really loved this hanging garden. This would be so cute out on a balcony. You could hang some herbs for cooking or just make a pretty wall of hanging flowers. And whether you have a large yard or a small patio, this would make for such a unique and aesthetic focal point. So something that really helps to give off a luxurious vibe is a bathrobe. And this tan waffle one looks so expensive and not only would it be perfect to use, but it would also add so much softness and texture to a space to have this displayed hanging out on a wall hook just to give off that spa-like feel to a bathroom. And you can snag this right now for under $30, which is crazy because it has such an expensive look to it. And these would be great to have on hand for gifts also. They come in both a small and a large size. And somewhere I always like to check out is the faux floral section. And I'm pretty picky when it comes to faux florals, but they did have some very lifelike pieces here, like these ranunculus stems. These are perfect for spring. And I've mentioned this before on my channel, but something that I like to do to save money is just mix a couple of floral stems in with greenery that I already have to create a casual gathered look. They also had these small accent florals, which I loved. I thought that the coloring on these roses looked very realistic and they would look so cute out on a kitchen countertop or just to accent another piece of larger decor. They were $7 each and they can be used both indoors and outdoors. They also had this small faux lemon tree for $25. This is a new arrival and I honestly thought the quality of the greenery on this piece was really good and definitely gave off that lifelike feel. This would be so cute popped in a little rustic planter or a basket to help freshen up a space. And for those of you who prefer real greenery over faux but don't have the greenest of thumbs, they had a ton of succulents and cacti. I love these sweet little heart cacti. They would make for such a cute gift to brighten someone's day or to decorate a desk, countertop, or a shelf. Okay, so another thing that is super big right now and is making its way not so subtly onto the scene is floral patterns. And this is definitely a bold look, but if you're into it, you can snag this entire sectional for $1,600. And you know, if you like the floral trend, but you don't want to commit to a sofa, you could try layering it in in a more subtle way with something like these sheer floral curtains. Another subtle way to incorporate floral patterns is through pillows. And this specific pillow reminded me a lot of the one that they are selling at McGee & Co for over $200, so a great way to get a very similar look in your own space for a fraction of the price. And they also had this pretty green floral pillow cover as well for only $6, and these would make a great statement and add a punch of spring-like pattern layered in with other pillows on a sofa or a bench. 
They also had a bunch of floral duvet covers for really great prices. And I think that these would look really sweet in a kid's room or maybe a guest room. If you like florals, but you don't want to overwhelm a space with both color and pattern, they had these neutral floral duvet covers that I thought were also really pretty. And if you're not into the florals, but you still want to add a punch of pattern, the window pane pattern is a big one that I'm seeing designers use right now also. So something that can help to give off a very high-end and luxurious look to your space is a cake stand. And we have one in our kitchen and I love to put it out and fill it with sweet treats when guests come to visit. It's just a fun, cheap way to display baked goods and give your space a cozy coffee house or bake shop feel. And when you aren't actively using them, they look really aesthetic displayed out on a shelf or a buffet table as well. Now, I've mentioned pieces similar to this on my channel before, but I love this knotted doormat. This is great to have out all year long and while this one is only $18 it looks super similar to the Sailor's Knot doormat at Serena and Lily priced at $68 and we have a very similar one that I found at Target and I love the subtle warmth and texture that it adds to our entryway. I also noticed Ikea had a ton of brand new throws and a color that I'm seeing lots of designers use right now is green and this can be a big commitment if you want to use green tile or cabinetry so a cheap and easy way to incorporate Incorporate this color is through accents like this throw and I love the subtle texture of the checkered pattern and the muted earthy tone of the green they also had it available in a blush and a cream color as well and it definitely looks to be a lot more expensive than $18 all right, so we're back home and I'm gonna show you all the deals that I scored and how I styled them throughout my home. So the first piece that I found was this awesome faux lavender plant. This guy was only $15 and sometimes with greenery at Ikea, it's hit or miss with how realistic it looks, but I thought that this one looked very lifelike and I thought $15 was a steal considering that I've seen very similar ones available on Wayfair and Overstock for like $100. I bought this because I've been very into my spring inspiration boards on Pinterest and something that I keep coming back to is just that rustic European garden feel with the aged old terracotta pots and that's something that I'm totally going to implement into my patio this year but I also thought it'd be fun to kind of bring it inside as well so what I'm going to do is just pop this in an old rustic pot that I have this was actually a DIY that I did in a previous video so I will link that below as well if you're interested so I think by dropping this in that old rustic pot it kind of helps it to have that vintage old world European feel so it kind of brings that rustic garden vibe in from the outdoors and that's something that I'm trying to do this spring season it's just kind of feel like I'm bringing the outdoors in and I really like that this is low maintenance because it's faux I don't have to do anything to it but it still kind of gives off that realistic look which I'm loving so I'm gonna put that over on our console table and just have it be a fun focal piece for the spring season to just brighten up our space and make it feel fresh all right, so this next piece is definitely my favorite piece, especially for the price, and it is this stunning black terrarium. Now, I'm gonna put it down because it's like really big and kind of makes a lot of noise. And I know I showed this in the shop with me portion. It did come in two different sizes. This is the smaller size, and this one was $23. I believe the larger size was $30, and it did come in either a white color or a black color. I just love the contrast of the black, and I think that it looks very expensive. It kind it looks to be like metal or iron even though when you put it together it is a little bit wobbly but I do think that it has a very expensive look to it and it's super versatile it is an indoor or outdoor piece so you could use it out on your patio you could use it on the floor or you could put it on a table also if you don't have a green thumb you could totally just use it to display souvenirs in a really cute aesthetic way so it would look pretty on a shelf or a table definitely just one of those pieces that's super unique and you don't see it everywhere so I thought it'd be fun to get and what I actually bought it for was to make a cute little rustic herb garden out of I thought it would be really pretty to grow like some mint some rosemary and some basil in here and I did find three terracotta pots at the Home Depot that fit in here perfectly so I'm actually going to be aging them in a future video so make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss that it's going to be a fun spring DIY video so I'm excited for that but what I actually bought to go with it was this really cute little plant stand that I saw that 
guy was only $27 and looks very similar to one that they sell at Pottery Barn for over $100. This plant stand as well is also indoor outdoor. So what I thought I would do is use this outside on our patio for, you know, a cute little garden moment. And what I tried to do in the store was see if the terrarium would fit on top of the plant stand. I totally like took the display down to see if they would fit together and they didn't unfortunately. But then I did notice that if you didn't put the top shelf on the plant stand that this would actually just rest on there perfectly. So that's what I did. When assembling it, instead of putting the top shelf on, I just popped the terrarium on top and it totally looks like it's all one seamless piece that was designed to be that way. So I think that this is going to be such a cute plant stand for our outdoor patio. I'm going to do a little patio refresh makeover. So also be sure that you're subscribed for that as well, but it's gonna be really fun to kind of DIY that and plant everything in there. Unfortunately, here in North Carolina, we still have a couple more freezes. So I'm going to wait to do that for a few more weeks. And this is just gonna sit in our bedroom for now, but just a cute little home for my future herb garden. And the whole thing all together cost me less than $50, which is really great. All right, so the next thing that I found were these really pretty 100% linen pillow covers. Now, this is actually a new product at Ikea and they have this same fabric in a duvet cover, in two sizes of pillow covers and in curtains. So I love it because this rusty earthy brown color just looks to be really organic and natural and it really works well in my space. It's going to look so pretty contrasted against our sofa. I'm going to use it in our living room because we have a lot of those kind of rusty brown cognac colored earth tones in there. So I wanted to highlight that and bring it through the living space. We did previously have some faux leather pillows, but those had seen better days and I'd had those for a long time. So these are 100% linen. So they seem to be very good quality and the small size was $14.99. So these are 20 by 20. And then they also had a 26 by 26 inch size, which is very large. So that works well if maybe you wanna use that for bedding or something like that. But the large size was $24.99 and these were $15. And I thought that was a steal considering that Pottery Barn has a very similar looking linen pillow for $100. And that's for the 24 by 24 inch size, but still 25 and $15 is such a good deal. And I love linen because it's one of those very expensive looking casual fabrics that really helps to give your space that earthy organic feel, which I love to go for in my spaces and lots of designers do as well. It's one of those that it's very understated, but it still gives off a very high end look. So while we're talking about pillows, I did want to just show you too. I picked up these 16 by 26 inch down feather inserts and Ikea is one of the best places to go for affordable inserts, especially for down feather fill. You cannot find them for much cheaper anywhere else. So I was really excited about these because they were on sale for $4, which is just insane. I didn't even need these, but I figured for $4, I wasn't even going to get them. And then my mom's like, Jenna, that's less than a cup of coffee. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so I bought two of them and you know, I do have these really pretty lumbars upstairs. They're leather. And I figured if I ever want to swap those out or have an extra insert on hand, then I have them. They also would be really great for bedding or for layering pillows together on a sofa. So, you know, couldn't pass them up for $4. And they also do have much larger sizes for very affordable prices as well if you are looking for some down feather inserts. All right, so when it comes to faux plants, a lot of times I gravitate towards, you know, larger stems or arrangements because obviously those things are fun to buy. But something that I overlook a lot and I'm constantly wanting in my home, but I don't have a ton of them are just like small accent pieces to maybe accent a larger vase or a lamp or something like that. So I came across this really cute faux plant and it says it's a faux string of banana plant. So I'm not really sure. I haven't heard of that before, but this was less than $2. And I figured this would be perfect to just pop in, you know, a little vase or a mug and use as an accent piece throughout my home, which I desperately need. So I figured for under $2, it actually looked very realistic. And it kind of has that kind of dusty blue, olivey green tone to it, which I really love. I think that looks very expensive and lifelike. So yeah, my only regret honestly is not buying more of these because I think that they're super cute and I love the movement of them, how they kind of just hang out of this little pot here.
year. So yeah, for less than $2, I could not pass this up and it'll be a great little piece to have on hand to use in my styling. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this Ikea shop with me and haul. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support the channel and be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future home decor videos. And also check out this video right here if you like the high-end designer finds on a budget type videos. I take you through the store and kind of show you the pieces that will give your space that designer feel. So yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!